David Skidmore. Welcome to the last lesson in this series of videos. If you've made it through this entire series and my book which accompanies the video series, congratulations. Today we're going to celebrate by introducing perhaps the most challenging etude of the entire series, but one which I think you'll really enjoy performing. We're going to be talking about a few advanced marimba techniques. One, we're going to be talking about doubling notes with your outside mallets, the number one and four mallets. Number two, we're going to be talking about playing an ostinato with different stickings, but keeping the ostinato consistent in spite of what sticking you use. And number three, we're going to talk about playing four note chords when your hands are spread to the opposite ends of the marimba. Let's start off by learning the ostinato that's a part of this lesson. Check out warm-up exercise number one. This ostinato has the sticking one, two, three, two, three, four, four, three, two, three, two, one, etc. The sticking sounds great on the marimba, and it's been used in a few really prominent pieces of marimba literature, including Velocities by Joseph Schwantner. This sticking requires you to play double strokes in your number one and number four mallet. And in order to do so, you need to build up some strength and some pretty specific muscles in your hands. So let's use the exercises to do so. As I'm sure you know by now, the way to build up this strength is to start slow, practice consistently, and keep your hands relaxed. So let's start on this first exercise at the slowest marked tempo. As you continue to increase the tempo, resist the temptation to squeeze these double strokes out by tensing up in your pinky and ring finger. Instead, keep those hands nice and relaxed and produce the stroke with a quick whipping motion in the wrist. Use warm-up exercise number two to continue to build strength. Throughout this etude, you'll need to play this sticking at a really wide range of dynamic levels, so be sure that you're practicing it that way in these exercises. At a certain moment in the etude, the sticking of the ostinato has to change to accommodate melody notes that you're playing in the number four mallet. And this presents a great opportunity to work on an important skill, being able to play a repetitive ostinato with multiple stickings without being able to hear the sticking. You want to keep that ostinato nice and consistent no matter what sticking you're using. Try warm up number three. The first two measures are just the ostinato with no melody notes, and then in the third and fourth measure, we add those melody notes in. And the last new skill that we'll work on appears in the very last measure of this etude where you're asked to play a four note chord with your hands spread across the entire register of the instrument. To play this chord, you almost certainly need to bend at the knees to lower your body closer to the marimba, which will increase your wingspan to its maximum amount. If I try and play this chord standing up, then I either have to stretch really awkwardly or I, or I just can't even reach it. But if I lower my center down by bending my knees, then I can easily reach the chord. As always, of course, there are tons of opportunities to be musically expressive in this etude, either by subtle dynamic variations or the use of rubato. The indication at the beginning of the piece, rubato expressive, gives you special license to bend the tempo and dynamics to create musical lines that have direction and purpose. I hope you've enjoyed this video series, and I certainly hope you've learned a lot. I've definitely enjoyed making these videos and composing these etudes and performing them for you. I also hope that you now feel really comfortable with a wide range of techniques with four mallets on the marimba. But more important, I hope that these techniques allow you to express yourself on this instrument and make the music that you want to make. Thanks once again for watching. <laughs>